When talking about potential trade destinations for Aaron Rodgers, you might be able to scratch the Cleveland Browns off the list. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Bill Enright and Bill Cleveland.com reporting that the Browns have no interest in trading for Aaron Rodgers. They believe in Baker Mayfield. So are they right to believe that much in Baker? I'd say yes, given one, the trajectory of the team and what we saw this past season. Two, Baker played pretty well down the, the stretch of the year. And three, you don't want to risk alienating a, a Baker Mayfield, not to mention what you'd have to give to get an Aaron Rodgers. I'm with you on this one, Robin. I, I love what I saw from Mayfield in, in 2020. You know, his interceptions, they dropped from 21 to 8. His QBR uh, jumped from 54 to 72. And, and I, I think it's really interesting what the Browns asked of Baker Mayfield in his third season, but his first season in Kevin Stefanski's system. And that's really become a game manager. And I don't like the, the stigma that comes with game managers. So I'm going to change it to say game winner because the Browns did win 11 games in 2020. And I think they did it by running the football, playing smart on offense and not asking Baker to go out and have to win them games but really take control of the football, take care of the football. They had the fourth most runs and the fourth least amount of passes. And with Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt in that backfield, they were allowed, they were able to rely on that running game and then let Baker put them in positions to really win games for them, but not go out and try to push the ball downfield and, and have a lot of turnovers or make these spectacular plays. So I think Baker really fits into what the Browns want to do on offense, and I think it's smart to stick with a 26-year-old franchise quarterback and then go out and trade for a 38-year-old that is just happened to be coming off an MVP-type season. Yeah, I mean, it's not in a vacuum who's better, Aaron Rodgers or Baker Mayfield, right? right? You're looking at, you know, the, the rest of the team, the assets that would be involved, and where they're at relative in, in their careers. And, and you, you don't just have a season like the Browns did and then go, you know what, we're going to you know, we're gonna blow this up right. and go in a different direction, even if you are bringing in, you know, uh, uh, you know the, the current MVP and, and, you know, host of Jeopardy.